What is PIP, LOT, order type, and trailing stop? PIP is a measure of the change in the exchange rate of a currency pair. Most currency pairs are in five decimal places like Euro to US Dollar, British Pound to US Dollar, etc. A PIP corresponds to the fourth decimal digit. Yen-based currency pairs like US Dollar to Japanese Yen are uncommon and are measured to three decimal places. The PIP value is shown in the second decimal digit. Lots Currency pairs are traded by what we call lots. A lot is the amount of the currency pair that you're buying or selling. The three most common types of lots are the standard, the mini, and the micro lot. One standard lot is equal to 100,000 units. One mini lot is equal to 10,000 units and one micro lot is equal to 1,000 units of the base currency. Order Type There are few order types in Forex market, which are Market Order It's an order which is instantly executed at the price offered. Pending orders are Buy Stop, Buy Limits, Sell Stop, and Sell Limits. A buy stop is the price level set by the trader when they wish to buy their asset in the future. The predefined price for the buy stop is always higher than the current market price of the asset. Sell stop is the price level set by the trader when they wish to sell their asset in the future. The predefined price for the sell stop is always lower than the current market price of the asset. A buy limit is the predefined price set by a trader when he wishes to buy the asset in the future. The price for the buy limit is always lower than the current market price. This order type is used when the trader hopes the price of his asset will rise after a pullback. A sell limit is the predefined price set by a trader when he wishes to sell the asset in the future. The price for the sell limit is always higher than the current market price. This order type is used when the trader hopes the price of his asset will fall after a pullback. Trailing Stop a trailing stop is placed on an open position at a specified distance from the current price which is measured in points. The purpose of the trailing stop is to secure any potential profits. If the market keeps moving in the profitable direction, so does the trailing stop, always maintaining the stop loss at pre-selected point distance from the current price. If the market stops moving in the profitable direction, the trailing stop keeps the stop loss fixed. If the market goes against the profitable direction, it may eventually reach the stop loss level preset by the trailing stop. Once the price reaches this level, the position is closed. Trailing stops are executed on the platform directly, from the chart or the terminal window, and not on the server like the stop loss and take profit. Trailing stop is activated only when the profit of the position reaches or exceeds the trailing stop level. Thanks for watching and stay tuned for more tutorial videos or visit us at www.aximtrade.com.